And I and I read the article, and uh, and again, it's just, it was a real. It was an article about what to do or the debate around uh, children who want to transition, okay? Which I'm not saying anything about right now. I, I, can't, I can't wait into this. I don't have children. You know, there's a certain point where I, you got to step back. You can't be in every fight all the time. Right. I've said before, and I stick with it, I don't think anyone should do anything at nine. People should wait till they're older. <laughs> I don't know if that age is 18 or if it's in their teen. I don't know what it is. I'm just saying I don't think anyone should be making life-changing decisions at six. But I don't have kids. I'm, I'm really not involved. I can't get involved in all the fights. I can't. I can't be involved in everything. I, everything can't be. God bless these people at every day. Brett Weinstein and Heather Hying and all these things. Every day they, every day Heather Hying's like, hello, it's Heather Hying. <laughs> Hello, it's Heather. And then Brett's like, hello, Heather. Today, as Portland is bombed, we're going to sit here with our cat and discuss, you know, and it's like, I understand, I get it, and I'm sure everyone's serving a function. I just can't be involved. I have to, I have to step back. I mean, I have to draw a circle around myself and only care about certain things. I, you know, it is what it is here. If I have a child... If I have a child, I will encourage that child to be a financial criminal, regardless of gender. I will encourage that child to go into banking, to live in the Hamptons, to have a, you know, to live in the city, to have a home in the Hamptons. I will want that child to work in private equity or hedge funds. I, 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 my, I, I, and like the, like the transgender person on billions, the non-binary person on billions. I would hope that that is my child. I would hope that my child, in addition to being non-binary, would be um, kind of a numbers whiz with a real, real kind of loose sense of morality that could infiltrate an institution. And that, that would be my hope. I mean, that would be my hope. I don't think I'll adopt a child, but if I do adopt a child, when I sit down with the adoption agency, I'll say, is there any way that we can know which one um, you know, will be a criminal because I would want that one, like an intelligent criminal, not an idiot in a bodega. Go, get your money but like a fun criminal because that I would want to give that kid advice. And I think, you know, when I'm older in my life, if I have a child, if I have the, the, you know, if, if I adopt, if I'm in a relationship with somebody who's sober, which is a big, and they're, uh, you know, not in jail or something and we want to have a child or like raise a kid, which I don't think, sometimes I think about like, I don't know, like I think about getting a dog, I have a dog for an hour and then you go, this is enough. So, uh, but it might be nice to raise a kid, but I'd want the kid to do something. I'd want a, a fucking real deal, like Olympic kid. Like I'd, I wouldn't want a humdrum regular loser. I'd really want like a kid who was like obsessed with sports or, you know, a chess grandmaster, you know, not like Bobby Fischer who just went into, he just starts talking about the Jews, but I mean, someone who just displays a tremendous amount of skill at something. I want a driven kid. You know, I want a kid that it's hard to relate to. And I open the door to his or her room or their room. And uh, they just kind of look at me with disgust because they have no respect for me because they're like, yeah, you have a big house, but you're a fat clown. You know, what are you really? What are you, what's your legacy? Like I want my kid to say to me, what's my legacy? And I want to crumble. Like, I don't think I have, I don't. And I could just say, you know, comedy doesn't really age. I don't know, you know, but I want my kid to be like a stone cold little psychopath. That's what I want. I don't know if I can get that. I don't know if I'll get that, but that that's kind of what I want. Like a tough, sharp, you know, I mean, that's, that's what I would like if I, if I had the chance to, to have a child, you know, that's all, you know, it's also like what kind of grandparents would my child have? Because my mother is insane and my father is, has a putting green in his backyard. So it's like, what exactly am I bringing the child into the world in terms of grandparents for? Like what guidance will, my child will clearly get no guidance from my parents, you know, who gave me no guidance and uh, gave themselves very little guidance. So my parents, like many boomers, are just on a sailboat sailing. <laughs> the wind is blowing them around and they'll land where they land. Um, so the idea of, you know, like where's grandma and grandpa, you know, where's grandma? Well, grandma's in a mental institution and grandpa's uh, putting, in his backyard, you know? 
you know, if you if you need, go get a potato and put a Marlboro Light in its mouth and watch that and then press play on your phone. <laughs>